What is up my the bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the changes that are coming in season 3 in the mid season part of it So lots of things are being changed so there's changes there's fixes there's patches all that kind of jazz In Modern Warfare and there's also a new camo so before I just start, I just want to say if you want to stay up to date with everything on Modern Warfare or you want to see other games being uploaded, Rainbow Six Siege, just say Modern Warfare, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Minecraft and other games, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload a video or when I rarely I stream here. Speaking of live streaming, I actually tend to live stream on my Twitch channel link to my twitch will be down in the description below and i try to stream there every week hopefully i also have a twitter which i manually update every time i upload or whenever i stream as well so let's get straight into the video so the support twitter for activision activision support actually tweeted out this our upcoming 28th to the 4th update includes a required download for PS4 and Xbox One players who own Modern Warfare. Once you install the update, select a mode in-game to launch an install menu. Download Data Pack 1 from this menu. Once complete, please quit and restart the game. Now this is really odd because the support Twitter never tweets when there's going to be an update coming out. And if you're like me and have automatic downloads on, then if you go to your notifications, it should show you downloads when you're in it. And if you click downloads, then it'll see, you'll be able to see what you've downloaded and what you're downloading currently. So instead of doing this, it looks like you're going to have to go into the game itself and download a data pack. Now, if my memory serves me right, then you have to, you had to do this. Uh, with the start of Modern Warfare when it first came out so instead of having just to download Modern Warfare you actually had to download Modern Warfare itself and then two or three other packs for spec ops now this leads me to the question then is there going to be multiple data packs that we'll need to download either today or in the coming days and also looking back at the tweet it actually says that PS4 and Xbox One players, so PC players won't have to do what the console players have to do. They'll just download it normally. I'm presuming that's what I'm gathering from tweet anyway. So there was actually a community post on Activision's website as well. So the first thing they talk about is Modern Warfare Free Weekend, which has sadly passed. Next they talk about is cheating in Warzone, where they start saying by starting this week players in warzone and modern warfare who report suspected cheaters will receive confirmation in game when a player is banned we've also deployed additional dedicated security updates updated matchmaking to match cheaters together and increase our resources across back-end tech studio and enforcement teams soon we'll deploy a report a player functionality to the kill cam and spectator modes so for most of the community this is actually a massive step in the right direction and i actually think like having cheaters match up against each other is better than just banning them off the game completely from a business point of view it is i think personally like you have these cheaters who will probably spend money getting camos or getting operators and all that jazz on cod points and all that and all they can do is play against each other which is a win-win so it's a win for activision it's a win for the reputation it's a win for the community as well and it's a win for players that don't cheat or hack they also have a part where they talk about what they are working on where they basically say update for modern warfare on the 28th of the fort which is today and it will be about 15 gigabytes large so once the download and the data packs are both downloaded and installed you will then need to close and reopen the game next week also holds some playlist updates modern warfare will see shoot the ship 24 7 now with both cranked and grind in the mix along with some fun gunfight variations there's also something new to chase can we interest you in obsidian camo or maybe you just want to mix and match blueprint weapon attachments to your heart's content 
even on another blueprint weapon. So basically just little bits I want to take from this is so shoot the ship 24-7 is back and it's going to have two new game modes or two game modes that have been introduced into Modern Warfare that are old both cranked and grind so for anyone who doesn't know what cranked is this is when you get a kill you become cranked or juiced up so you get a 30 second timer and it boosts a load of your stats making you basically into a super soldier and you just gotta run around get kills and grind is basically a combination of objective modes with the run and gun of team deathmatch they also talk about a new camo called obsidian now this is the new master camo and the article sadly does not tell us how we can get this so anyone who has played minecraft or knows of minecraft and knows what obsidian looks like it's basically just a black color and i don't know how they're really going to do this when there's already some guns in modern warfare that are basically black they could do kind of a purpley kind of thing i'm not really sure how they're going to do it but it's basically black kind of purple kind of color so finally we see a few fixes that have been done now i'm not going to go into all of these because most of them are just small specific ones but the main one i want to talk about is they have adjusted the speed and sizing of the circle in warzone now this is a massive thing because the gameplay and everything the rotations that you do will change which is good however we didn't get anything on when duos will be coming or any more information on changes that could be coming to warzone or are coming to warzone so this being a 15 gigabytes large update this could have things for the future updates and releases for example we know from modern warfare 2 hard hat is coming to modern warfare that could be easily in this update file just locked away somewhere for now this update will probably be coming around 6 p.m for anyone who lives around ireland england and if it doesn't then it could come very late on during the night if that's the case most people will probably be downloaded then wednesday but yeah, this is the end of the video guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button, there should be a subscribe button. Uh, please hit that. And beside the subscribe button, there should be a notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload or whenever I go live on the channel. Speaking of going live, I have a Twitch link to my Twitch. It will be in the description below. I try to stream there at least every day or weekly anyway and i stream warzone rainbow six uh rainbow six siege that is um uncharted drake nathan drake collection that i'm doing journey i'm going to try and do some no man's sky as well a load of other ones as well and yeah when you're down there you can hit the follow button right beside the follow button there should be a notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on that twitch channel i also have a twitter link down in the description below as well when you're there you can hit the follow button you don't have to hit the notification bell there because i tweet out random shite as well but i manually update twitter so whenever i upload a video or whenever i go live most of my videos will be going up at 6 p.m my time whatever that is your time you can go check that out that's uh gmt or dublin or ireland england time for me at 6 p.m and yeah, that's it guys. Thank you and peace.